and it's a warm breezy day in early June a good time to start learning some of the uh, common bottomland trees that I haven't got to yet I've done the sycamores and the box elders and hackberries but we got some cottonwood growing here in Warren County Ohio this is actually an area that is flooded part of the year and the rain has ceased for a few weeks so we've gotten a chance to walk back here without getting wet feet this is an old farm field that has let go to seed. It's become a park and they aren't mowing it. So these cottonwood trees have started popping up everywhere. Along with the sycamore, we even got a little bit of black willow coming in here. I'm going to get back to the black and sandbar willows this summer. I need a little more time to study them. But we do have some willow saplings growing here as well. So these trees, boy, when it's a breezy day, they make really neat uh, dances in the wind. The... Uh, Cottonwoods and the uh, quaking and big tooth aspens all have a special shape to their leaf that allows it to dance in the wind like this. I'm not finding too much aspen around here. Uh, I'm going to try to get that into this channel over the summer when I have more time to travel. But it isn't too common in southwest Ohio, but the cottonwood is very common here. So let's take a good look at this cottonwood here. It's a pioneer species that pops up in these in these old fields. It pops up on roadsides. If you live near a cottonwood tree, it'll pop up in your yard. The little seedlings will pop up just about anywhere. They blow in the wind this time of year. It has gone to seed in early June here. And these seed pods, they're about four or five inches long. And just look at that cottony substance coming off of them. Each one of those is a seed. And you can see it blowing in the wind. And eventually they break loose and they look like snowflakes. And sometimes if you have enough cottonwood trees in your area, they'll cover the ground like snowflakes. So those seeds will blow just about anywhere within a mile of these trees. And you can get cottonwood trees growing just about anywhere. But they do grow more commonly on these floodplains. And this is a floodplain of the Little Miami River here in Warren County, Ohio. This is called Heise Park. H-I-S-E-Y. And there's a lot of cottonwoods back here along with sycamore and some black willow coming into this old farm field now the leaves themselves are about three to four inches long and get my quarter out here for scale so this one here is an average size leaf three to four inches long and three to four inches wide with a nice triangular shape it comes to a fairly blunt or sharp point at the end here. And looking at the veins on that, you can see how the veins kind of go out towards the edge. I'm going to get to Big Tooth Aspen. That has a slightly different uh, geometry and larger teeth, as well as the Quaking Aspen. But, but both these trees dance in the wind. You see it's kind of limp at the end, so it dances in the wind, and when you turn it, it makes a abrupt 180 degree turn that's because the stem on this tree and the two aspens the big tooth and trembling aspen or quaking aspen both have a stem that is shaped so it's flat hard to see in this video here but if you find a tree like this the uh, stem is much wider than it is broad and it creates that trembling or shaking motion in the breeze. So here's our eastern cottonwood, common to the Ohio Valley and all across the wetlands and tributaries of the Mississippi River, all the way up to the foothills of the Rocky Mountains. It is common into the lower elevations of the Appalachians and on some of the east coast rivers draining off the Appalachian Mountains. It's not common in the mountains themselves. And it is common in the lower Great Lakes along Lake Michigan and Lake Erie. So a real common tree where you, near waterways and in old fields and areas that have gone back to seed. And um, really neat to look at on a, on a breezy day. And I'm going to get underneath these cottonwood trees now to take a better look at the bark. It does have ridges and furrows like a lot of trees. These ridges are almost continuous without interruption for many, many inches on this tree. So 
it's not uh, it doesn't have a lot of cross pieces on the uh, ridges it's mostly ridges with long furrows in between them and they these ridges and furrows get extremely large on the older trees I'm gonna stitch another video onto this series here of some large cottonwood trees that would absolutely impress you they grow so fast that they can get five six feet in diameter and not be extremely old in the process but these ones are just maybe 15 20 years old and they do have that ridgy bark all the way up almost to the top you get places where it's a little smoother towards the top of the tree but for the most part this does have a furrowed bark that's kind of an ash gray in color and pretty easy to tell from the other trees that grow in the same habitat so we'll, we'll contrast this tree with other members of the what's called the populus genus which is the aspens um, in the future but for now here's our eastern cottonwood with its early summer appearance and as these cottonwoods get larger the bark becomes very deeply furrowed I'm going to take a chance and say it's the most deeply furrowed bark of any of the trees I'm putting on this channel. This is the top of a tree that's probably 80 feet high and the furrows are probably 6 inches deep. And as you come down on this tree, it's got a massive trunk that's 5 feet in diameter and 15 feet around. I just measured it. So this is how large these trees can get. And this is the eastern cottonwood in a very good habitat for growing. It's on the floodplain of the Twin Creek in Montgomery County, Ohio here. It's just a massive tree. It's hard. This video will not do it justice. But this is how big they can get and often do get on the banks of these major tributaries all over the eastern and central parts of the United States, all the way up the Mississippi and Missouri Valleys right up to the foothills of the Rocky Mountains. So our eastern cottonwood is a massive tree, but grows very quickly. So this tree may not even be that old, maybe less than 200 years old, even though it's over five feet in diameter. And it has left cottony seeds all over this walking path here. You can see it just littered the ground here. So this is a tree that can sprout up just about anywhere if it gets enough sunlight and the seeds land on open ground like they have here.